especially with what happened at the end of last episode. I think this episode being called Bell Cornell slash The Fool makes a lot of sense. I'm ready for a lot of hard but needed talks, discussions, whatever, debates this episode. It's going to be rough. What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius, back at it again with Don Machi, Season 3, Episode 8, Bell Crenell, The Fool. We're getting close to the finale. Last episode, we had Wiene getting her will slash conscious jewel, like, almost ripped out of her. And so then she, like, evolved into the Vivre ultimate form. Dix even put a curse on her, made her go to the, the to the, um fucking to the to the surface i don't know how i spaced on the word service for so long there but bell it was chasing after wiene and then we have the rest of the our familia like wealth uh, makoto uh, hestia and haruhime and then we also have the loki familia who ended up attacking wiene because she's on the surface kind of attacking bell bell is standing in front i just it's just not a pretty situation and we all know it's not going to end well from at least i don't think so i don't know you guys have already seen it i don't know but remember if you guys want early access full length of this show all the other shows i'm watching we are four episodes ahead check out that patreon down below always open to you guys don't forget to follow or subscribe if you guys currently are not join the dapper squad always welcome click that bell so you guys always know when i post always appreciated don't forget to follow me on all my social medias instagram twitter and twitch at dapper darius let's hop right on into this uh don machi season three episode eight bell Cornell. The fool. Is uh I was gonna say where's Dix's homie with a spear? This would be such justice. I was hoping he wouldn't get away and he would somehow die. This would be such justice for this monster. But isn't he a Xenos too? Why hasn't he said a word this whole time? But some Xenos can't talk, so they've already established that. Yeah, what he <laughs> turns around all confident. What's up? <laughs> What's up, big boy? I don't feel bad. Hell yeah! Smart. Oh, really? I mean, maybe they've said that before. I see. Finn's one of those characters, those anime characters, who get instincts, has like a little hunch. Some, something's not up. I love those characters. Ooh, Bete versus Gross. Oh no, don't kill each other. I like both these characters very much. I, I oh my god, I only hear Bakugo every time I hear Bete and I love it. Okay. It's been a long time since I've had to talk about Tiona, Tione. Which one's which? I forget. This is let. It's just one shot. <laughs> Arles, Arlies. <laughs> oh, so sad. Yeah, get him out of there. Go, go. <laughs> the Loki Familia are some fucking monsters. Gareth, the fucking cannon. Yeah. Don't tell me that's big boy. Don't tell me big boy's on the surface. See, I was liking big boy so much when he killed Dix, but no, man, you gotta stay down there. No. Even his, just his, a uh, howl. Just, was able to knock out Haruhime. Jesus Christ. A black. I was about to say it does look like a Minotaur, but obviously much bigger and obviously black. Asterius, that's his name. Ooh, Tiona. Ooh. Ooh. I tell you, the women in this show are something else. It not only is dual wielding axes, but it has a magic sword. I was gonna say a lightning axe. This is not what I was expecting when when Wiene came to the surface last episode. 
This is not what I was expecting at all. So the magic sword still end up hitting all of them. The paralysis one. Like Thundershock. And in the big guns. Oh, I love how quiet it is. Just the wind. It's so graceful. With her wind magic and everything, too. Tempest. Ooh, I was just about to say it. Oh, my God. She is something else, man. Eyes is... Oh, my God. Ooh, good dodge. Ooh, good dodge on both sides. One-handed right now. Black Minotaur versus Eyes. I'm saying, I'm just as much as odd as in you guys. I can't even speak right now. <laughs> oh, I would love to see Otar versus this fucking thing. <laughs> There's no way this is not, this is the one Otar trained, fought Bell, and then revived as a Xenos. That would make so much sense how it became a Xenos, but it still can't talk like that, you know? It's just a bloodthirsty, strong fucking Minotaur beast. Yeah, and it is very evenly matched with eyes, even one-handed. With the horn? Oh, I love this man. Finn and Gareth are both... OP. Level 6 goats right here. Smoke bombs. Oh, the loon popping off thanks to Hermes. How in the fuck were they able to get Asterius out of there? Definitely your guys' L. Oh my god, is this not the perfect place for this to happen? Like a Colosseum, an abandoned one with seven? No, I don't. I didn't mean the mages, everything right here minus the mages. Damn, they like eradicate. Her wings are like shredded. There's no way. There is no. Especially with that spear, too. It's like impossible to be healed. No magic potion, no anything is gonna be able to heal that wound. Maybe she can be reborn again with. Oh no, even the magic stone is breaking. Yeah, that's super sad, man. I really did not think we would lose Wina. I thought she was going to be a new member of the squad. R.I.P. Wiene, man. I mean, Fells did just say she's gonna break the rules of heaven. Magic which transcends human knowledge. A foolish plea. Dia Orpheus. 
Well, imagine how strong you'd have to be as a. <laughs> Bro, there's no way. Oh man, that's fucking. That's amazing. That was beautiful. With the music and the color, everything. Oh, heartbeat and everything. I don't know how Fells is so legendary. Eight hundred years. Fool, Fells the fool was not a fool, you know. Like it all meant, it all eventually down the line it worked, you know. Did a great, great good in the world. Oh, all right. I had to go blow my nose, but we got an after credit scene. Only bones and regrets remain. From one fool to another, I like that. It's extraordinarily foolish. Precious and irreplaceable. That's a really good definition for it, I like it. I think one of people's, and myself included, biggest fears in life is like living your entire life and having, you know, such regrets. That's why they always say, you know, don't regret what you do, move past it, learn from it, stuff like that. It's so hard to not regret some of the decisions you made though. Everyone has that ideology, you know, if I could go back and change something, I would, but you know, it's like, would that lead to the person you are today? That's a whole different topic for a video even in and of itself, but I loved uh fells's take on it you know as someone who's lost skin and muscles as someone who's literally only bones and regret you know be the fool you know your foolishness is something that is irreplaceable and 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 super rare like no one like there have been many people in the past who have had these weird strange ties to the xenos but no one has disregarded their self their sense of self and just strictly you know fought for the fought for the goodness of them which is just fucking insane did we ever end up so i just had to go look because i was like didn't because i was so excited to see finn and gareth team up together because they're some of my favorites on the loki familia they never killed asterius so with the name drop of him he has to play a bigger role deeper down the line but that there's no way that's the same minotaur who bell had his first argonaut encounter what was it season one episode like fucking 10 9 something around bro that was so cool and for otaro to recognize him it has to be that one reborn into another like that's the only thing i can think of because he never talked either when he was before he was a xenos when he was just that minotaur oh my god bro but everything with weene including the the death which hit me because i did not think weene was gonna die but then can someone let me know on the, spe the specificities of what Fells did. I know someone's gonna comment, like the details of it, and I'm just I'm I'm anticipating it, and I appreciate that. But from what I assume, it was that you know obviously Fells has been in search of this immortality, this magic that's beyond the understanding of human knowledge for years, centuries even, and it would never work. It led to the ruins of his people, the sages, all that. It never worked. He ended up losing his. He, she, whatever fells is, fells end up losing their body, and there's so much cost, but it worked on a monster? Like, is, is the difference here that it worked on a monster, or is the difference here that a great sacrifice and payment and, and so much emotion, like there was a number of a number of criteria that was hit in order for this ritual, this, this magic to be used successfully. Was it that, or was it the fact that it was a monster? Because either way, are both like beautiful in their own right because if you have been studying for this magic for hundreds and hundreds of years to make humans immortal and for them to just you know whatever whatever and it just does not work ever but it works on a monster then that clearly is going to impact our 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 tie not only ties but our beliefs our, our these walls around us where our beliefs are these monsters are these just in unsentient just completely violent you know unemotional beings but yet somehow this magic that is 
that is just beyond it's like it's it's so much deeper than it actually is you know it's kind of like attack on titan with me like oh my no spoilers if you haven't seen attack on titan go watch fucking attack on titan but if you don't know what the titans are it's just gets it's just unlocks a whole new world of deepness once you once you know you know it's just like like once these once you figure out what these monsters are and the actual you know some some of the things that they it's just i can't even fucking comprehend it it's fucking crazy but i love this episode oh so much this episode the fights the fucking beautifulness the the love the compassion it was all there this was an s tier episode for sure thank you guys so much for watching you know leave a like if you enjoyed check out that patreon down below always available i'll see you guys in this next one thank you guys all so much peace out now